Now, we're going to move over to the National Assembly, where a bipartisan panel of lawmakers is holding yet another hearing on the sprawling power abuse scandal involving President Park and Hay and her confidant, Chess and Schill. For more, we connect to our parliamentary correspondent, Park Jiwon. So, Jiwon, tell us how the hearing is going thus far. Mark, more than a dozen witnesses are testifying today on a range of issues related to the scandal. But some of the key witnesses, including Choi Jun Shil's ex husband, Chong Yun Hui, who was also President Park's former chief of staff when she was a lawmaker, have not appeared. Their absence comes as a disappointment to the people who are hoping lawmakers would get closer to the truth behind the allegations in the massive scandal. Officials from the Mir and Case Force Foundations, which were allegedly controlled by Choi Jun Shil, are at the hearing, but their testimony have yet have not yet offered anything of a substance. Also present is Cho Han Gyu, the former president of the Hegeibo, a local daily that was the first to report in 2014 on the existence of an unofficial advisory group to President Park that included Choi Soon Shil's ex-husband Chong Yun Hui. The former president of the daily said he was fired after revealing the news, and he said there was a significant amount of pressure on the a pressure on the press from the presidential office. Here today as well is a group of professors from Ihua Women's University, including the former university president, Choi kyung -hee. Lawmakers quizzed them over the allegations that Choi Soon shils daughter, Chong Yura, received preferential treatment in admissions and grading. The professors have denied giving special treatment to Chong. Well, that's all I have for now, and I will bring you more updates throughout the day as things develop. Back to you, Mark.